Hey everyone, Lee Cohen here from the Hyperactive Bookworm with her mascot, Mazakeen. Um, today I am so excited. I finished Jay's Sapphic Reading Challenge, Dragon Badge Level 1. I never intended to do Level 2 because I just, I just know my limitations. But I'm so excited I actually made it to the Dragon Badge. Um, so this means um, I have read 50 sapphic books one of each category of the 50 different categories that jay's listed i have no idea where these ones will fit in i need to sit down it'll probably take me mind-blowing stupid amount of time um to figure out where all the books go um the original the the earlier videos i was like all cocky going yep this will go there and this will go there i'm like uh -uh because I've just read so many and I haven't kept track and I haven't specifically gone, I need a book for that. Um, I've just read what I've wanted to read. So hopefully I can get them to all fit in. If I can't, I'm, well, I guess I'll be quickly reading a few more, but this means I have finished reading the 50 and I'm so excited. It's, and it's such a great list. Like it is such a great list. I, um, I'm just, it, it's just a brilliant list. So we'll get straight into it. The first book I read under this one is da, 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 Under Your Skin by Lee Winter. So I actually listened to this and then I contacted Lee and said, um, I really, really like it and I need to have it. So, um, and she very wonderfully sent me a copy and signed it for me, which is so lovely. I also have the first book in this series. Series? Yes, it is a series called The Red File, um, which is back there somewhere. Um, so it's book two um, from The Red File, and oh my god, it is so delicious. So I um, I love ice queens. Like, you know, so shocking. I know, everyone, ah, so surprising. Um, but what I love about them is when you see that little bit of melting, um, and I love with Lee's Ice Queens, they do melt for, um, you know, their love interest or, you know, sometimes for their niece or, you know, um, they, they have this gentle warmer side, but it's not for everyone. Like they are still the Ice Queen no matter what. Um, but this whole book is like the melting of the Ice Queen, but it has so much more to it as well like um i love the small town settings it's like the first book we um we got catherine catherine Ayres, the ice queen we got her world sort of um and which is awesome and there's all this rivalry in that one about you know the country girl um lauren but i love that we get to see her world in this one as well um being a country girl myself that always makes me happy um but it's just it's so hilarious because it just it hits so home with the small town setting um and it just has humor like spitting coffee all over everywhere at moments um i absolutely absolutely adore the contrast between the two characters like Lauren is this cute, charming, upfront country girl, and Catherine is just the acerbic ice queen who is just delicious. But the next book um, is The Roommate Arrangement by Jay. I, this book was just so, it hit all different levels for me. Like this is the third book of the entire year that made me cry. I was like, what the hell? Um, and it was such an unexpected um, part of it. Like, I just, I was, I was stunned for myself um, that I, yeah, that I, that I cried. Um, but it was, it was just, it wrenched in and ripped my heart open. Um, Stephanie bugged the crap out of me at the start like she was so frustrating and I was like what the heck and I I warmed up to her and I felt like my god 
it's so brilliantly written. You are sort of in Ray's perspective a lot of the time. Well, for me, like I was as frustrated as Ray was with some certain things, but then it was just, it was the funniest, like the odd couple, that old TV show. It's basically that in lesbian form and hilarious. Um, so it's absolutely beautiful. Um, brilliant writing, of course, because Jay's writing is just so, it's so wonderful. Whenever I feel like, oh, I'm not in the mood or I don't know what I feel like, if I pick up a Jay book, I know I'm going to love it. Even if I'm not particularly fond of the storyline or anything like that, I know overall it's going to be a well-written book, great characters and a story that flows and this is absolutely the same. Absolutely the same. <sighs> the dog. All right, so the next book is Full English by Rachel Spangler. Oh my gosh, this was the first book I've read. Oh my god, it was just, I loved everything about this book. Like, uh, I loved the way the characters were kind of turned on their heads. Like, at the beginning I thought, okay, well, yep, the small town character, you know, um, all these different things, but they just completely get turned on their head. I love that family is shown in both good and bad. I just, I adore the side characters. I am so excited about there being more of this series, the English series. And it's just set in the most deliciously beautiful place. Like the setting is just gorgeous. The writing just, it makes me just fill with all this bright, pretty, fuzzy ideas. Yes, that's the dog going nuts because heaven forbid a leaf fall outside. All right, so yes, Full English by Ray Spangler. Amazing book. Um, I don't have paperback copies of a lot of these books, but I plan to get them because they're just so fantastic. All right, now the next book is Hush Little Baby by R.H. R. Heron. So this is Rachel Heron, and I've been listening to her podcast for ages. And I think she's just absolutely amazing. But I haven't actually read one of her books. So I read this one and I literally could not stop listening to this book. So I'm just, oh my God. Um, I know that a lot of her books aren't lesfic. Um, but I was really excited to hear that this one was. So I grabbed it. It's a thriller. It's just, holy crap. Like, the writing is beautiful, um, from from the descriptions of humanity to descriptions of the earth. Um, she, she goes into this complicated duality of human nature, and, oh my god, she just reaches in and stabs sharpened nails into your heart before ripping it out of your chest. Like, I... I okay, this is 100% not... A book for anyone who is going through fertility, pregnancy, or even like with the small baby, that could probably be bad too. Um, I'm glad I didn't read this when my son was younger. He's a bit older now, so, but it's still, it, oh, it, it was just powerful, this book. So I, I cannot wait to read more of that. The next book, oh my god, like, I'm not kidding, like, this Dragon Badge is just, it's like, the most incredible books. The most incredible books. The next book was Malice by Heather Walter, oh my god. So, I was never a big fan of, um, Sleeping Beauty. I hated it, of all the fairy tales. It was just like, meh. Um, this made me absolutely fall in love with, the, well, at least this version of the world um i i'm a sucker for fractured fairy tales i love them but normally i love those that i love the original so i wasn't sure whether i would like this going in oh my god Mwah. like what a silly concept because this was oh my god amazing the world building the the characters it's just so fantastic. 
um, Alice, the main character, I find her so relatable and I, the, the author Heather Walter has done an amazing job at making it that way. I, like, I was in such, hello darling, I was in such a, just, it, stunned, speechless when I finished it because I was like, what? I hadn't actually noticed when I started it that it's a duology. So I was like, oh, thank God. Because if that's how you end it, no. <laughs> like, it, it it ends wonderfully, but it also leaves you wanting more, needing more. And I am so excited. I cannot wait for the second one. I will definitely be listening to this book again before the second one comes out. Because, Wow. All right, now, the next three books, yes, three, because I ended up reading um, the, the whole series, the whole series. So this is the Dark Peak, um, the Dark Peak series from Kari Hunter. Wow. So No Good Reason is the first book, Cold to the Touch is the second, and A Quiet Death is the third. I am going to talk about each of them individually, but kind of put them together with the overall, oh my god, this series is everything. So, no good reason. It was actually my least favourite of them, but it was vital and needed and still wonderful because you meet these amazing characters. So, there's Sanna Jensen, who is, um, she's, she's a cop, and then there's Meg, and for the life of me, I can't remember Meg's last name now, but Meg is a doctor. And they've been best friends for forever. And it's just amazing. Like, it's just so great. So the crime in um, No Good Reason was horrible. Um, <laughs> but the mystery and crime, it was horrible but realistic. Um, and I just... It hit me. It, it was powerful and raw and how these two best friends get involved in it and it just it, it kind of broke me a little bit but in that in that amazing way like it's been a while since I've I've read crime or mystery and it's so rare I get to read them that has representation um and that was just just puts it on a whole new level of brilliant because the writing, the story is absolutely amazing. Okay, so the second book, oh my God, Holy Hannah. So seriously, the second book, like I loved the first book. And then the second book, I was like, how could it get better? But wow, it was an incredible sequel. Um, it was so great getting to see more of Sana and Meg's past um, and just horrible but great and gritty and raw and the writing is fabulous just as just as much as the first book was um, the writing just has such an incredible way of pulling you through the story like the red herrings and the breadcrumbs they're just placed so perfectly you don't realize you've just like gone oh oh that was wow okay because you you get the breathers but they they're never boring they're never dull they they let you breathe but before you kind of go yep I'm done it, it's pulled you onto something else and it's so fantastic now the third book oh my god the third book the crime definitely upped the ante absolutely upped the ante which you know, in a series you need, but oh, it was just so intense and heartbreaking and it just has so much more of Megan Sanna. One of the things I really loved about it though, you also got a third person's point of view. I'm not going to tell you whose because I don't want to spoil it, but you also get a third person's point of view and that really just made it so much more dynamic for me. It made it different and mixed it up a bit which was fabulous I they just seem so real to me all of these characters they're so real and the dialogue is so natural 
um, the banter between Santa and Meg is just so real to the relationship they've had. Like, they've had this friendship forever. And it just so naturally comes across. I also love... Uh, I've, I've always felt akin to Meg. I adore Meg. But in this third one, I really felt like I got just as attached to Santa. Like, I've loved Santa, but now it's become even more of an attachment. So I feel like I'm going to miss them both. So <laughs> I, th I think I'm going to be um, um, reading these ones again. The audio is amazing. I love the accents. I found that I was walking around trying to mimic it really badly because it just is so brilliant. Um, so those three books are just fantastic. They, oh, they just did everything for me. Next book I read was A Little Bit of Spice by Georgia Beers. This was um, my first Georgia Beers book and I think it was a pretty good, pretty good choice. I actually enjoyed it. Um, her her reading is just easy and fun and a little light and um, it was a pretty good enemies to lovers trope. Really good sex scenes. Um, the complications were kind of fun and entertaining. Um, I, I love stories that show you a little bit of the family, a little bit of the character's life outside of the romance. Um, but uh, overall, all I can really say is, of course I was going to love a book that starts with the line, are you fucking kidding me? And then just goes on from there. It's fabulous. Um, I also found it really fun getting to have a bit of a beer education thrown in there as well. <laughs> because hey, what, what's life um, if not about learning more things? So that was really fun. All right, last book, In the Dragon. So I, I have the paper book for the first book and for the last book. So Art of Magic by KJ. You might have seen me go on and on and on about this book in like every previous video I could. Um, it was just delicious. The, oh my god, the internal thoughts of Kath are just fabulous. I also love that we only get one point of view because there's just something fun for me to to have questions just like the character does like to not know for sure to not know more than the character i kind of find that appealing um the writing is kj brilliant um long flowy descriptive gorgeous set in australia which always makes me fun always always makes me fun always makes me have fun i love it i always enjoy it um Kath is my new spirit animal. She always will be, I think. She, She's just, this book was just amazing. Um, magic realism, just thrown in there as well, which just sealed the deal for me. Just totally sealed the deal. Um, like I said, the writing, the humor, the characters, the world, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, this book has already kind of gotten slightly beat up and and it's going to get more beat up because <laughs> it was fabulous. So that's my 10 books for the the dragon, well, with the other badges, the, the last 10 books of my dragon badge. And I just huge thank you to Jay for doing this challenge. It has been so fun. I have discovered so many incredible authors. I have never read so much romance in my life which is both good and bad, <laughs> but it's been great. It's been so wonderfully educational on so many levels and it has been fun. Um, I've got so many more on my to be read list um, and I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving the discovering amazing authors and amazing books. So I'll put all the details as usual down in the comments. And yeah, let me know, have you read these books? Do you plan on reading these books? Have you done Jay's Reading Challenge? You've still got, what, two months left? So, you know, you could still get a badge or two. Um, but it was just fabulous. And yeah, thanks for watching.